and gentlemen, I just got word that the men of business are out here boycotting something. I'm not entirely sure what this is all about, so let's go find out. Guys, guys, what, what, what are y'all boycotting out here? Well, for one, Kevin, I do want to let you know we're not boycotting a thing. Okay. What we're doing out here, we're waiting on Scott Simon because we do have a couple words we do need to address with him. Yeah, well, Scott Sigmund. Yeah, I got video evidence. I want to know what you're going to do about it. <clears throat> Scotty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that little referee too, Brandon. The one that keeps cheating us over. The one that has that personal vendetta against us. The one that saw his shoulder up, yet did nothing about it. Come on. Here we go, right now. Here, take this what? and get out of here. What, guys? Go what? nowhere. What? I want to know what you're going to do about it. You saw the video, you saw the photo. Uh, look, I saw the video, I saw the photo, but you're going to have to wait on Scott. Uh, Scott got, Sigmund? Yeah. Scott Scott final. So. Scott. Just wait on Scott. It's you got right. history with Scott? We should be alright. Alright, just hope. wait on Scott. Brandon's not the one to worry about. We'll worry about Scott. <coughs> Scott Sigmund, just the right. man we wanted to see. How you doing, what's Scott? What's going on? What's going on? What's, what's going, going on? on? Yeah, what's going on? We've been waiting here three hours for you. Well, I can't help it. I had things I had to do. How are you a new commissioner and you're already this late? This show is what you have to do. This show. Hey, uh, it's, 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 if you guys got here early in the morning, I don't know what to tell you. We well, look, I'm here. What's up? What, There's what? other things we need to address All here. All right, let's talk. What's up? The video, the photo. I've got evidence. I was robbed. My shoulder came up at two. How many counts does it take to win a match? One, two, no, it's three. I know LinkedIn people don't know how to count, but stick with me. I was robbed. Okay, you're talking about the video you had on the Facebooks that you're, where you're claiming that your shoulder was up and you're claiming that he pulled your gear and everything. Well, you know what? Okay, here's the deal. I've looked at it. I've made a few comments on it about Facebook, but here's the thing. I'll let you know something about it later on tonight. Right now, i got a few things got to be done. Talk to you later. See you later. Bye. We should have got here earlier later. if you had some Talk things to, to do. Later. Talk to you Right back in the same situation. It's all right. We'll get them tonight. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Halloween edition of MWF Saturday Night. Yeah, Kevin! And at this time, we will be getting this show started. So please, make some noise. I ain't got nothing to say to y'all tonight. All I want to do is say, get your butt out here. Anybody that wants a piece of just the five-minute boss challenge, because there's no man in the room. There's nobody in the sky's green earth that can beat the outlaw in five minutes. I just want to say I was gone one show and uh, I, I, Brad just looks worse than he did before I left. So, uh, what happened with that? Like, why, well, why I mean, just look at him. I mean, he was wearing tights and doing all this stuff, and now he's in this trash bag looking tights. I mean, what happened? And I know you tried to replace me with this guy over here. That didn't work too well either, did it? God, it feels good to be back in the commentary. I'm telling you, we're glad to have you back. Yes. We're glad to have your attitude and everything. That's right. That's right. 
So how do you see it for tonight? Obviously, the way you uh, are talking about Brad, I don't figure you're going to have him winning tonight's match against the Outlaw. Nobody can beat the Outlaw Keith Matthews in less than five minutes. He gave him a five-minute challenge. Let's see what he can pull out. But so far, that's going uh, Brad Adams' way so far. So. I mean, he's holding the ropes and stuff, and, and, and Outlaw was going for some moves and didn't quite get to make it, so we'll see what happens. I mean, he's firing up right now. And is he going for a 10 count? He is. He is. He, he's literally doing a 10 punch right now in the center bucket. Look at Ref counting him down. It looks like he's out on his feet, the outlaw is. What is this? This is disrespect. Look at him. He's just disrespecting him. Wow. Wow. And kick out, outlaw. See, they kick right out there. Too, there. Okay, nobody's going to be able to beat him in less than five minutes. Well, see, the one thing we have noticed, too, nobody from the belt collectors is out here with uh, outlaw tonight either. So that will put him at a little bit of a disadvantage. That's because outlaw can do this on his own. There's a reason that he's out here by himself. He can do it himself. Oh, Outlaw with a swing and a miss, and Brad Adams is. Referee needs to get on this. He's swinging some closed fists. Those are illegal. That's an elbow there. Now. Oh, maybe one out of how many of them. Let Outlaw hit him real good one time. Out. Hit him. Hit him. Knock his eye straight. Come on, you can. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. Let him knock your eye straight. Yeah, get your trash bag self back in there. I'm telling you now, man. It looks like he's going to get on you there for a second. He might now. be able to, but I'm not going to deal with this kind of stuff. You know, you're no longer an active wrestler, you know, so, I mean, your commentary. It doesn't mean nothing. I can say and do what I want to do. Well, not that you have to, if he calls you to come back in the ring or anything like it. What are you doing? What the hell's going on? What's going on? Kevin, what's going on? What's David Rhodes doing right now? What is he doing? He's not longer a wrestler. What the heck just happened, man? What? 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 I, I don't know what to say right now. I mean, what? What was that about? I said I can say and do whatever I wanted to, and I just proved it. I'm not gonna let guys come to this table and tell me differently. I'm not gonna let them disrespect the man that has helped build this place. So, uh, I'm gonna cheap shot somebody. He's a hand fan! How many of you fans? He's a hand fan! Well, Brad Adams, take on Miss Rose over there. Yeah. Oh! I'm retired. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, You're okay. retired now. Now he's no longer a active competitor for MWF. He just gave me the nod. He is fully retired. There's nothing he cannot defend. He cannot do anything about it except for coming there. He is retired. That's right. He has had a lot of concussions in his career. He was right. a great champion, one of the greatest champions. But the progress match will not happen. He is retired. Hey, hey sir, sir. Have a seat right there. Before you have a heart attack. I said, He's a I'm going to get a match with you at Brawl Games. It cannot happen. He is retired. Not gonna retired. I'm going to sign off on it. I got it. Good night. So once again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think somebody else has something to say. Seems like there's a little bit of a conundrum here. Um, David Rhodes, when you decided to interfere in a match, yeah. you crossed the line from commentator to wrestler. Yeah. No, no. Now, no. Do you think 
that you're retired. You're right, I'm retired. Your paperwork's in the back. And um, we're going to grant you a temporary wrestling license. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, no, you can't do that. Yeah, go, I'm go. Yeah. No, 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 no. If you want to continue to draw a check from the MWF, you will wrestle bad Brad Adam. Whoa, uh-oh. You got to sanitize. I got sanitized. I got clean. Wow, that sounds disgusting. That sounds disgusting, old man. That's going to be a pro games, but there's got to be a main event right here tonight as well. And that's going to be for Ray Hansen's North American Heavyweight Championship. Your guy, your guy, Casey. A member of the Bell Collectors, he's going to wrestle Ray Hansen for the North American Championship tonight. And he's going to lose! Oh, 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 oh. But well, you're going to be far. But here's the best part. Here's the best part, everybody. It can't be around here. If Ray Hansen wins tonight at Brawl Games, he's going to go up against the MWF champion, your guy, Hojo the Devil, Devlin. Oh! And it's gonna be not a regular match. It's gonna be in the Brawl Games cage. Seems like somebody's been here for one show and all of a sudden got too much of his britches. But however, you know what? Nobody is smarter than Outlaw. If Casey, I don't say if, when Casey wins that North American title or not, Hanson never gets a shot at any title in the MWF history ever again. And I'm the Outlaw Keith Matthews. And I? And you've been fired! Well, we have a heck of a main event set for tonight now. Hey, whoa, come on, guys. Hey, come on, Brad. Save it. I'm telling you. The first match of night, we already have a Donnybrook going, to ha going on right now. You say Donnybrook? Oh, Donnybrook. Good word. I guess, I, I don't even know what to say now. But we'll get, get back with you after this break. Hey, this is Jason. This is Mike. And we're here to invite you to check out our podcast, The Podcast with Jason and Mike. We talk about everything from wrestling, current events, pop culture, music, and everything in between. So if this sounds like something you would like to check out, then search for us on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Do it. Do it now. Puds out. That's, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. Oh. Even down to the annoying whistle. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Please shut up. Indeed. 
And if he is not Speaking of, uh, oh, I know that. Animals. Children are meant to be spoken to. Shut your mouth. You're saying it not hurt. That's what I was always saying. Who is raising you? J.J. Pett, Scott Simon, Brandon, all in on a conspiracy against me. My shoulder was up. The tides were pulled. Hey, shut your mouth. You listen to what I had to say. I hate to say it. I seen the video too, and his shoulder was up. I have to admit that. Yeah, I guess that's why I referee Brandon come out here blindfolded it's because uh, he don't see anything. not mistaken, I don't know if it's the one, number one contender is up for this match or not, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe? I, I, I really don't know. But anyway, if Devin Reed and Chaos Keith, if they lose tonight, I guess the, the number one contenders will be the men of business. And, and that's okay with me, you know. They've really come together as a team over the past little bit. The men of business have really been putting in some time and some work here. Uh, you know, Devin and, and Keith are really trying to, to come into their own, but they still have a long way to go. It, it would be a shock to me if they were able to beat them tonight. I think, I think the problem with men of business is they're more worried about the fans, taunting the fans. They're more worried about being arrogant. I mean, you got Tim out here 
dressed up as a Scott, which he did a dead on impression voice wise with him. I'm giving him that. Yes, yes. 10 out of 10 would agree. But I mean, they're more worried about everything else than I feel like the wrestling. That's what's going to put them down for tonight for the up, up and coming team of uh, Devin Reed and uh, Chaos Key. Key threw a really good looking drop kick there. But uh, now, whatever they're doing, I'm not for sure. Oh. Okay, I guess they're just going to try to light up his chest. He's in the turnbuckle. You got a five count, and the ref is really, really slow on this five count. Yeah, yeah, I just said that. Oh. That's the veteran. I was going to say, still the, the inexperience of Devin Reed of the team is the weak link for them, him and Chaos Keys. I've said it every match that he's been in since I've been at this commentary table, that for him it's the inexperience. And the only way that you get over that is time. And time and time and time is going to take match after match after match, year after year after year. And even then, some guys still mess up a lot of stuff. But guess what? That's the part of the business. Oh, now look at that innovative move see? there for him. Now see there? That was, that was good. He, he did something different. He was able to come out of it. Oh, now he's Basement drop kick. He's moving now. The air and ace. Oh. Be careful. He's going to have to get out of the ring or do something. He's got to cut the momentum off somehow. Well, see, the drop kick. Well, see, but that's what he's going to have to do because Deb Reed has a, a huge size differential with him and Aaron Ace. So he's going to have to use his quickness against him. Big cross body there from Chaos Keith. That could be it. Oh, no, that's a good two. strong kick out from the Aaron Ace. It's going to take a lot more than a cross body to beat the men of business. No, oh, now, look at that now. Oh, I guess Scott. Scott was checking the, uh, the ropes to make sure they were uh, elastic enough. Oh, beautiful neck breaker, back breaker combination. And you can just see the agony on Chaos Keith's face there while that the two. I think that was more of a cover to it. And see, look at that. Going. I think that's, that's tag work right there. That's Not what I'm like, saying, the betterness of that team there. Rob Devin's over there trying to fight with the referee. He's leaving his partner in here to suffer at the hand of the men of business. Oh, here comes oh. That, that mad, 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 that mad business of his. Once he gets, he gets rolling, he's going, he's going hard. And plus, with it gets his brother too that he has the hatred towards. He's just putting some educated ex, feet into ex -brother, him. Ex-brother, ex-brother. Oh, I apologize. He don't consider him blood relative anymore. The knee drop there by the air and ace. That could be it. A slow count there by the rest. Oh. It did look a little different there, didn't it? Good strong reverse chin lock there. Oh, you just hear it. Keith is just screaming in agony. They've been working on his neck and upper back the whole match, and that's going to come into play throughout this match. And see him once again. Getting back to the, the Wiley veteran. Oh! Right to the ribs. Your ribs are hurt, it's hard for you to breathe. It's hard for you to breathe, it's hard for you to wrestle. It's hard for you to wrestle, well, why are you out there? They're just working over everything on his head, neck, ribs, I mean. Sometimes just a good stomping to somebody is what they need. Oh! A good reverse leg drop there. Oh, he barely kicked out there, Chaos Keith did. You kind of see the, the frustration set on Devin. Oh! You see how he's trying to get in the ring, he's trying to make Oh, now you... He just fit in Devin Reed's face and seeing the inexperience of Devin Reed. Oh. Wow, that was a stiff arm. I heard that from here. Oh. oh hey, wow. look at that clothesline that there now. Clothesline across the face. It was beautiful, and I like it. He, this has to be it right here. This has to be it. Got the leg covered. Oh, no. He didn't put the weight across the shoulders. That could have been a three count. Devin is desperately wanting in the ring. He is wanting. He 
Gaza oh. to come in as a ball of fire, but he's cut two guys that are almost twice his size that he's going to be contending with. They're just systematically just working all he just, over. He just took both his index and his middle and his ring and his pinky and just separated them like a wishbone. What are they setting them up for now? Oh, oh basement drop kick on the ropes. Mad Matt's using every he, part of the ring to his advantage. Oh, oh, and a European there. He he has to be out on that one. He there's. I mean, just look at him. He's on Dream Street right now. One. Two. Oh! All right, all right. We're still a little fight in He's got a little yes, bit of heart there still left. Really, really, really the crowd's to trying to get behind him. Takes a little bit more than the loudness of the crowd, but maybe he's trying to feed off their Oh, look at that! Scott got taken out! Or Scott number two, I say. Look at Chaos keep coming back. Throwing him forearms again. Wait a second. Oh, this innovative submission here now. In some places that'd be called the lightning bolt. I don't know what he called it, but it was a thing of beauty. Now he's into an inverted ring of bring a Saturn there. Look I think at him. See how he positioned himself between him and then his tag partner. It's a beautiful look. He's got a Fujiwa arm bar in there. He's really wrenching down on that. They're systematically trying to make sure that he can't do anything. They've pretty much taken everything away from him tonight. He neck, ribs, hand, arm. I mean, if they take away his legs, he's nothing left of him. <laughs> I mean, I guess he would be a no-legged man in a butt kicking contest, but can't win those. Oh! What a thing of beauty. <laughs> the aggression there comes oh, look, Devin Reese. I think if Devin Reed wouldn't have broke it, uh, interfered right there, the match would have been over. That, that was it. It may have been the first thing that he's done in this match to help out Chaos Keith. That's what I'm saying. I think that Chaos Keith worked with him a little bit where he starts to notice stuff like that. As I was saying, from his first match to now, he's just held an improvement. It was a, just a bulldozing cross body there by the Aaron Ace. And a guy of his stature is going to be able to drive through oh. someone the size of Chaos Keith. And he's going to take the win. He's going to crush the ropes. He's going to do everything that he can in one of those types of moves. Oh. See, now see, see I like that. That little bit of aggression there. When he hit the turnbuckle, not only did he hit the turnbuckle, Why they get ready to do to him now? And the tree, oh, now, come on now. I don't even know what you can say after that one. Well, he didn't technically um, hit him below the belt, so the ref couldn't really say anything. But Chaos is struggling right now just to stay on his feet. Devin Reed is won't make it in this match, but it's just not happening for him. Wait a second. Oh, good reversal there good reversal now. Reversal to a neckbreaker there. But look, he is on the wrong side of the ring. That's what you're going to say. between him and his partner. And it's going to be so hard for him to get anywhere. Who's going to make the tag first? It looks like Matt's getting ready to make the tag. And he tagged in the air now. Oh, he tagged in Devin Reed right now. Oh, high knee from Devin Reed. Oh. He come in like a house of fire, like I said he would. What the heck just happened there? I'm not for sure, but he's coming in hot. He has to stay at a quick pace if he wants anything to happen. Oh, close line. That wasn't a very smart move on his oh. part, trying to Irish whip a bigger person. No, not a guy that's like at least two sizes bigger. Oh! Come out with a shotgun knee there. The Aaron Ace is going to have to do something here to cut him off. He is running 
like he's on fire. I see, but Devin's going to have to use his quickness. There's no way he's going to match power with Aaron Ace. No, not at all. I'm not for sure what he just did there. Seemed like oh. Ace. As I'm saying, from the first match to now, Devin Reed has shown improvements 100%. He's he still inexperienced on some things, but. He's learning to string some of his moves together. He's learning how to do things at the right time. But this is going to come with time. Again, the experience level is not something that you gain overnight. Oh, and that's, just like that, that's what it goes saying. back to the inexperience. Oh! <laughs> but see. Devin Reed did the smart thing there. He rolled over to the ropes. He did. He did. What is D. Scott Simon up on the Oh, now look at that. KS Keith ain't the legal man. He needs to get him out of the ring. He's hitting someone who's not even a part of the match. Oh, super kick! That was right on the button. He has to be out. Oh! And Devin Reed and Chaos Keith won the match. Devin Reed got the pinfall. The Chaos Keith won that match. So I'm assuming they're still the number one contenders for the I'm title. I'm so. Again, at the beginning of this match, it was very unclear as to what was going on. Literally crawled out of here like a dog. See something new every day. So it looks like maybe at Brawl Games it's going to be Chaos Keith versus Timmy. He said five in the cage. And uh, the way that. Scott Simon's been dishing things out tonight. I'm sure that he'll get his way. I'm still trying to figure out the whole thing that happened with you. Are you coming out of retirement for the match, I'm assuming? Apparently, I got to. Are you I clear? didn't sign off on that. That's what I'm saying. Because I know you had to retire because of the injuries and stuff. I didn't sign off on that. I just wanted to prove a point that people can't come out here and do what they've been doing to the owner of this company. I guess J.J. Fett has something to say about that. 
sounded like it was loaded. Well, you think that's tired of you? These people are getting tired of you. Yeah. I've dealt with you my whole life. Throughout our childhood, everything. You act like you're better than everybody. Yeah. I'm actually being bigger, better than you in some things. Yeah, you actually beat me all these times when we fought. That's because you've been doing this longer than me and you got more experience. But all these fans know I've come this close to beating you every time that we have fought. Close only comes as good in horseshoes and hand grenades, just so you know. Then you go like a little wolf cub and take a little cheap way out every time. Yes, yes, yes. These fans know that. Yes. I know that. Yes. So I'll tell you now, and you should know me. I don't back down, and we're coming for you. So come on. Who's we? Who are we coming for? First off, is there two of him? Don't you interrupt me. Unless they have the alter ego or something. I have no idea. No, ego's in the back. Might be having an impromptu match for tonight right now. Is there a ref out here? And we're underway. Well, we have an impromptu match tonight with the America Pitbull JJ Fett version. The man's just simply known as Wolf now. And you know what? That's that's perfect. He doesn't need another name because he's a wolf. He's a beast when he's in that ring. Well, so far in the MWF, he has proved to be I don't know, a dominant wrestler. I don't know what you want to say about him. He, every match he's won single-handedly, and he's dominant. Just like that. J.J. Fett was going to try to play to the crowd, and Wolf didn't care. He just cut him right off and just went straight to the beatdown. And, and seeing tonight, we, this is a motivated J.J. Fett tonight. I think he's seen the fir first four times and he got beat by him. This is a different one tonight. I don't know if he can pull the win out tonight, but so far it looks like Wolf is in control once again. He said earlier that he was this close to beating him all these times. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, and a win is a win and a loss is a loss. And when it comes to the storied rivalry between the two of these, J.J. Fett has been in the losing column every time. And, and I have to agree with you on that, too. He has... Wait a second. No, oh, look at that Go takeover. Behind. Going into a gator roll. That's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Pull out. That's what I'm saying. JJ's pulling. Oh, and a headbutt. Wow. That's what I'm saying. This is a different JJ fit tonight. And another gator roll. You know what? Maybe this little level of aggression here that he's showing, maybe he should uh, try to channel that all the time. Oh, now. To drift away, you know. Wait a second now. Oh, just the two. But for him tonight, it wasn't enough. But so far, the aggression that he's bringing, presenting to the crowd and to, to Wolf, I think he's got Wolf off his, out of his element right now. I don't know that Wolf's had anybody here bring it to him the way that he takes it to anybody else. And JJ's going to have to really, really oh. bring it. And see, just like that, Wolf. Just like a light switch. He's already cut him off, and he's destroying him already once again. Oh! Doesn't matter the match. Doesn't matter who he's in the ring with. His aggression level tends to oh. rise every show. Oh! What is this? JJ Fett was just egging him for more punishment. Oh! Look at the strength of Wolf there. Just, oh. just wrenching the neck. 
Just listen to the agony. Listen to him scream. When your neck's bent that way, it's hard for you to breathe. It's hard for you to talk because he's, you're just pulling and just everything. See, and just see him right there just grinding the elbow into the eye, too, while he was doing that. And if he's not better than him, this is just going to make it even worse. Just slapping, 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 taunting, taunting, taunting. Wolf's just proven that he can do anything he does. Oh! Wow. Running knees. Oh no, he kicked out. That was a very aggressive knee. The point of that knee went straight into his sternum. And you can see JJ is literally clenching out his chest right now. Well, I think that little bit of regression that happened earlier just made Wolf mad. Yeah. It's went away. The fans are oh. trying to bring him in, trying to get with him, but it's just not happening right now. Hard reverse to the Irish rim. Oh, there you go Pulls now. it up with a splash, some short oh. off those lines. He's trying to bring that aggression level back. Oh, he's going for it. Ten. Oh. It's like just a strong club to the chest. Oh, now. A high angle slam there. He's got to follow this up. He can't let him get a break if he wants to win for the first time. But I think he gave him too long there. I think he's still Wolf wore out a little bit. Wolf was smart. He didn't even try to kick out. He just pushed him away. It's enough to break the pin. And see, I think right now it's just, he's just playing to the crowd now. He should be keeping his attack on Wolf right now. When you're now. in this position, you do anything that you can to try to psych yourself up. But when you're already down and you're already out, everything that you do just seems futile when you're in a ring with certain people. Well, especially against a guy that's already beat you four times, too. But with a guy like Wolf, you can't try to build yourself up. You have to come out here ready to do anything it takes to win. And I don't believe that J.J. is at that point. Just got him by a handful of beer there, it looks like, picking him up. And it's just another one of those little things that Wolf does that just shows the aggression level that he has. And just look at him there, just... Choking him on the ropes there. It's something simple that a lot of people don't think about. But the ropes are part of the ring. Use them. You've got so long that you're allowed to get away from them. Hold it. Hold it five count. Keep it to a four and a half. Let go. There's nothing they can do about it at that point. Just these short overhand chops to the chest. And, see, and Wolf does that. He takes all the cheap breaks. But he uses them to his advantage, though, you know? Oh, he blocked it. Oh. 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 You can just see every strike that he gave. And it took more out of him than it did out of him. And that's what we're saying. Just, Wolf just shrug it off. Oh. Stuck now, there's nothing he can do. Oh, he's gonna have to try to find a way out of this. But if he keeps him pulled tight like he is, it's gonna be hard for him to get his hands off the ropes. I think he's out on his feet right now. Oh, swinging neck kick off the ropes. The way that he, he shot the half, kept him down. And see, he didn't cover the leg right there. He, if he would have covered the leg, that could have been an easy three right and not there. Not only is Wolf aggressive, he's smart. And he knows how to stay on somebody. And he took a spinning neck record off the ropes, never lost contact with him, held on to him all the way into the cup. Look at that. He's just pulling him back up by his beard again. It's like, it just seems like he's getting pleasure and just destroying him. He don't want to win the match. He just wants to destroy him. Of their history together, with Wolf having the broken legs, every time it seems to be J.J. around when it happened, we only know one side of the story. And J.J. comes out here and keeps talking about how he's tried and tried and tried, but it seems to me that he's been the one that's been trying to hold Wolf back. Wolf has had to fight through adversity his whole life, and he has got to a point now to where he doesn't want to deal with it. Wait a second. Is Wolf fighting what's he going for? Oh! Wow! The modified Blue Thunderbomb. Oh, he kicked out at two. He and with barely kicked hook, out. With his weight over top of his shoulders, it just was not enough. I do not think that he's done enough damage to Wolf in this match for him to even be close to a three count. Well, I was going to say, I thought he could have gotten a three count, but I, th I don't think he used his weight because he was so tired from the beatdown he had earlier, you know. 
Now he's trying to get himself socked up again. Referee Jason is in there counting. We're at a five count. He needs to JJ get on the wall. Six. Wolf is not up yet. JJ should have took that opportunity to stay on top of him, but I think he took too long. But he's taken so much abuse in this match, and it's going to be hard for him to move like he wants to move. Oh. This like Wait a second. Oh! Spine buster. Eh? And that's the ball game there. The wolf kick, or not wolf, that kicked out. It was a very arrogant cover, but both of these guys are looking like they're getting very spent. It's just been a where, brutal hard hitting match. But this is where Wolf starts to thrive. He doesn't have to worry about what he's doing because he has an inner rage that will come out and carry him through to the finish. Yeah. Just Again, went. back to the paint and brushing the head because he knows what's he going to do. He's going to fight back. It's fine. He's taking everything he's given me and just turned it around back on him. He's grabbing him. Like, oh, just chopped again. These two guys are just exchanging strikes together like people who hate each other. Well, I don't know many people that knows the war. Uh, he's not really a friendly guy. I tried to talk to him one time, and he just knocked me down and said I didn't have nothing to say to you there. Well, I guess I'm better than you are because at least I get a word and a grunt. No, I didn't get done. The only thing I got was pushed on the ground. He is definitely a loner. He does not like to be around people. And I guess for him, he just hates everyone. He doesn't care. And I think it's... He do, he, from from what I hear, he hates everybody. He don't like anybody. The only thing that he loves in life and likes to do is to beat on people, he said. He does a great job of it. Well, his record so far in MWF has proved that, too. He's undefeated still. Oh! And he was very aware. Moved him out of the way. Oh, oh my God! A hard clothesline. I think he knocked him out there. He says that's it. Is he going to set up for the wolf bomb? He's got the hands on the That's throat. what it looks like. And see, he could have pinned him right there, but he's just wanting to prove that point. And there's the wolf bomb. That's just, it's over with now. That's it. That's it. And we'll prove once again still that impressive undefeated streak. He's he has. got that killer instinct inside of him that a lot of people never get. But he come in here with that killer instinct, and he's gonna leave whenever he feels like it with that killer instinct. And he still has the open contract where he can go for any title he wants, too. So I feel like I've had that contract. If you're smart about it, it's an easy win. You pick your place. You come out there, you hit hard, you strike fast, you can get any title you want. Well, I think with Wolf, any title you want, he has a great opportunity to get it. So. I agree. What's up, Puds? This is Jason from the podcast with Jason and Mike. And I want to take this opportunity to talk to you all about GameSwap, located at 112 Northeast Court Square, right here in beautiful downtown Lincoln, North Carolina. Whether you're looking for the best new games and consoles or you're more of a retro guy like me, GameSwap has you covered people i'm talking everything from atari nintendo super nintendo sega playstation xbox hey there's even systems i've never even heard of before so if you're a hobbyist a hardcore gamer or a collector GameSwap is the only place to go and maybe video games isn't your thing well that's cool too because GameSwap is much more than just a game store they also carry a vast selection of comic books toys t-shirts and all sorts of collectibles spanning all aspects of pop culture from science fiction action adventure tv horror and all points in between you really just have to see it to believe it so what are you waiting for get on down here to game swap and see it for yourself and tell them that the pud sent you No, no, you, this is all, you're, you're, you're a paid employee of the MWF. You have to go back. Not you. <laughs> all right, is everybody ready? Yeah. All right, if you wouldn't mind, please. 
Alright, first of all, I don't like kids anyway, but this is a great improvement all dressed up. But one thing's for sure, this one can't win because you're an imposter. You can't trust nobody be out. Judge this with them, I'd say you want it right there. Everybody, would you please follow me around the ring? Everybody, please play, pay close attention to everyone following me right now, because you're going to be judging them here in a second. Underway on the the retirement tour series, I guess you want to say that the uh, Outlaws going with the Christopher look, King. Look, all of this can be ended tonight. All Christopher King Baldwin has to do is say that he'll align himself once again with the Outlaw King Memphis. Let's see last last event. I know you wasn't here last one. Casey Kilgore had him pinned, and then Outlaw told him just to keep. Laid down, so he laid down and cover, uh, had the King Baldwin lay, cover him, I guess you could say. I don't even know what you want to say. That's because the outlaw does not want him gone. He just wants him to come to his senses and join him. He's done it once before, he can do it again. But I think the way they're doing it is dis disrespectful, I would say. The King is a, with a fan, is a fan friendly wrestler. He is not the former wrestler he was before, and they're bringing family into it too each time. This could be a classic match for MWF tonight. Both of these guys can go the distance if they want to. They both can throw strikes. They can pull moves out that you don't often see. They're able to go for long periods of time. So let's see kind of what happens. Obviously, I'm in favor of the ego because right now he has the most to lose. Where Christopher King Baldwin has just got a try. And plus, Ego had something to prove tonight after losing the title at the last event, too, to his uh, partner, Ray Hanson. So what would be a better way to get revenge is retiring Ray Hanson's partner, Christopher Baldwin. Tonight. I agree, 100%. Hey. Oh. That's a good trip there. It's not something you often see. Again, like I said, they're going to pull things out that you're not going to see that often. But and plus, you got to think, will Outlaw allow him to pin him tonight, too? If he don't, he's waiting on the right time, the right person, the right moment to put him in. Oh! Hard hip toss there from Chris Baldwin. Oh, another hip Another toss hard there. one. It seems like some, something's missing with the ego tonight, it seems like. He's like not in the same moment, but I don't know if he's losing the title or what. It could have. It could have just taken him out of it. Oh, another hip toss. Take a break. Take a break. You got ten, use nine and a half. I was saying, now the outlaw's trying to go to the ref and call a timeout and rest. Well, he writes the rule book around here, so he can do that if he wants to. Look at him, now he's throwing stuff at camera guys. See, he can do what he wants to. I don't know if this is smart of Christopher King Baldwin to do this. See? That's just a good use 
of a bad situation. Now Al was trying to tell the ref that he tripped today. He did not. That, that's the way I seen it. Outlaw doesn't get involved in matches. He knows his boys can do it on their own. But this is from the same guy who came in and interfered in the Outlaw's match earlier tonight. Now, I made that point very clear. But I'm tired of people disrespecting him. That people have to learn to respect somebody. And whether it's me punching him in the face, whether it's him punching him in the face, whether it's one of the belt collectors, he deserves respect. Irish whip. Looks like. It's like oh, Chris Baldwin close, is just pulling out all kinds of moves tonight. Oh, this is up a couple. It's almost like he's going back in time and pulling out stuff out of the repertoire that he used to do. Oh, and just like that, he's cut off. Oh! Oh! oh my God. He's up there. That was now. a beautiful move and then reversed that quick. It's a good way to break a rib. It seems like Chris got the extra motivation tonight than he has been. You know, a lot of people have been saying that Chris looks like he's lost his step and stuff. Tonight, he looks like he's got that step back so far. I mean, watching the ego, it's almost like he's a little blue in the face for losing his title last year. Oh! Oh! All it takes is one mistake. Just one mistake. You don't have to take this! Tell him how long! All you gotta do is listen. And you do you listen? Do you listen? Oh, there's no way out. Oh! That's a modified one, too. Feeling nice tonight because normally he does it to the oh, and his beautiful splash in it. He gets such high. He's making sure that you know, he's got room there while he's wearing that t shirt. You know, they can get tight sometimes. Elbows to the face and chops. Oh, yeah. Get ready to set him up. Oh! Basement drop kick. Nowhere to go. Might like, look like he knocked a tooth out. I was saying, look like Chris Baldwin there was looking up. See if his teeth were intact. And Ego is just punishing him right now. He's doing what he wants to do. Oh, the choice of being one of Outlaw's boys, you do what you want, when you want. <laughs> Jeff was checking to see what conditioner he used there. He's got fluffy hair. Oh! This could be it. And the king kicked out at two there. Look, you hear all these fans out here yelling crazy things. Jeff's out here yelling stuff. Amanda's out here yelling stuff. Chris is out here yelling stuff. But they've got to understand that when you're in that ring, guys like the Outlaw King Matthew, Christopher King Baldwin, and especially the Eagle Marshall Simmons are willing to put it all on the line at any time. They don't understand the toll that this takes on your body over time. Oh, just a knee straight into the back there. Things like that. He won't be able to lay straight tonight. Oh, oh knocks no. up his back, knocks up his spine. And now, look. He, then you turn around and stretch him out. And you see the outlaw just right there in front of him. He told him earlier, you don't have to do this. All you have to do is say that you will. And, and Christopher King Baldwin is still too much of a stubborn person to just agree. Well, I think he's a changed man now. He's seen it right and what he once did was wrong. And I feel like he's more of a, a family man now. He's more of a into the fans and stuff now. Is that a good thing? Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But he just knows how corrupt the outlaw is, and he don't want to be a part of that. Hard Irish rip to the turnbuckle there. Oh! Wow! No 
nowhere to go. Shot to the mouth. And he's not letting up. He's just going to go right back to the offense. Oh. He's um, it's technically not illegal. He's not hitting him there. Wait a second. Oh. oh. He made a move there. Right on the neck, shoulder. He hit very high on the mat. He looked like he could be hurt off of that move there. Look, look at the way he's twitching his hands and he's trying to, to get, get himself there. I mean, he, he could have could have really hurt himself there. And up in the middle of the ring there. He goes throwing some shots in deep. Oh, it blocked it. Oh, now. This Baldwin's throwing some, some things on there. Oh, yeah. oh, what a headbutt. Oh, now. A little bit of soul food for you. I see. I see Chris right there is playing towards the fans there. He should have pinned him. He could have had the match over with right there. I've been on the receiving end of soul food. It does not feel good at all. Your teeth rubbed together, your jaw goes out of place, you kicked in the side of the face. I mean, it's, it's very, very devastating. Oh. You throw some running forearms, back elbow. This is the, the Christopher Baldwin of old now. Oh. Oh, DDT. Oh, solid DDT. And he needs to make the cover now, but... He neglected to go for a cover. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why. was a very bad move on his part. And see, look, right there. Just use his beard against him. That quick. The Eagle Marshall seems to turn this whole match around. Oh! Knockout punch right there. Close fist are illegal in the wrestling ring. The referee needs to check him and warn him and let him know not to throw a close fist. Drop kick to the back there. Wow. Looked like Christopher King Baldwin was trying to get away. Eagle Marshall Simmons is just that much better. He's got that distance off the ropes. He knows how to close the gap in a quick way. Irish whip reversal. Looks like Christopher King Baldwin is just about spent in this match. He's pandering to the crowd too much. Oh, look. Oh, wow. It's the way that he planted him on the top of his head. Uh, shoulder was up. And the King's out there chasing out wall. Oh, now. There it is, the alter ego. Oh, he's holding him up. And they're going to do it once again now. Come on now. All he has to do is disagree. Nobody kicks out of that. Nobody ever in the history has ever kicked out of that. You're done for. All you have to do is join us. All you have to do is listen. And your career is set. That's all you have to do. Kind, caring man that's willing to allow him to just put it all behind him and just be one of his people. What do you say, huh? What do you say? No! What do you say? Oh, see. Now look at that now. Come on. Now what's going on now? Come on, this is ridiculous. It's Casey Kilgore. Okay, there's the part of the right hand with Steve. Look at that now.
seems to me like uh, he's done playing games. Get out of here. Get the back. Wash up. Uh, I don't know what to say right now because he literally just threw him to the Oh, yes. Yeah. And Wolf ain't going to, I mean, like, I, I really feel for Christopher Baldwin right now. Wolf don't care. Wolf was going to murder him. Wait a second. He's getting his leg work out tonight. Whoa. Oh, it's that solid down. Why would you want that match? 
but not many opportunities are given to a heavyweight title. Yeah, yeah. You got a little uh, something on your face. Oh! What is this? He's fighting somebody that's not even in the match. We're about to fire on his boots, and he's just like palm slapping these guys in the face. I guess it's not illegal. Right on the inner thigh there was the middle rope. <laughs> That's the getting in the ring. Out there too. Getting in the ring, you're straddling that rope as you're taking that foot up off the ground. It's right all across that thigh. And that thigh sometimes can feel like you get hit in the growing regardless if you do or not. Just ripping and tearing at his face. Elgin his eyes out. Oh! I told you this match was not going to be a wrestling match. This was going to be a fight. These guys were going to come out here and just beat the mess out of each other. And Casey was showing no good for this poor guy. Well, I was going to say Ray Hansen would have the advantage of being a bigger guy, but so far, Kilgore's kept him down. Casey Kilgore has an aggressive streak in him that he's had since oh. he come here. Ray Hansen has never had that same aggressive streak. He may have the size, he may have the girth, he may have the crowd's participant participation here, but Casey Kilgore has that aggressive streak that he's oh. just not going to get over. And he's already done three turn buckles to go for a fourth one. Oh, he moved on them. And just like that, kick to the chest. Ooh. That's all it takes. He's, he's a lethal striker. Ooh. He's going to kick you. He's going to punch you. He's going to forearm you. Oh! He's do whatever it takes. He'll even wash your face with that face wash boot. Shoulders are down. Oh, not just, even just, one. Like I said earlier, just the sheer girth of Hanson. It's hard to keep him there. And plus, you can tell that uh, Casey Kilgore is very angry that they lost the belt. Uh, they're no longer considered the belt collectors because they don't have every single title in their possession after the last event. Three out of four is still a uh, uh, high average. I mean, they're still technically collecting the belts. Oh, big splash by Hanson. Oh, huge clothesline there by Hanson. Falls up. Didn't hook the left hand, yep. didn't put any weight across him. It's just the excitement that comes out of Hanson. It looks like Ray Hanson's having a little hard time getting up right now. He's taking a lot of punishment through this match. Right? Oh! And he's taking some more. Oh, another headbutt. Oh, he just threw Hanson out of the I ring. Mean, he went to the floor hard there. Hit the corner of the ring up into the floor. And Outlaw is, I guess, is what is he doing? Is he trying to help him up or? or? No, he's, uh, he's stomping ants. He's stomping ants. He's stomping ants. You know, First we got the spiders, now the kids, ants the kids in the arena. Kids out here, they spill a lot of stuff. So, you know, sometimes we just got to clean up. He's just making sure there's no ants on him. Then look, he's such a gentleman, he threw him back in the ring, too. Well, yeah, yeah, want to leave him out here with all the ants on the floor. Like, no, he kicked out of food there. <laughs> See, look, he's just going back on the attack. Didn't even give him a break. And that's what you have to do. There's no way that you're going to be able to come back against Casey Kilgore because he brings the aggression. He stays on top of you. He's not going to give you that moment to breathe. And he's just calling for him to beat him some more. Oh! What a collision. Hooks the leg. Uh, just the power of the Hanson just kicked out of him. He tried to kick out strongly, but you can just see that throughout this match, he's taken so much out of him already that even he couldn't do it. And, and don't let Casey's um, size fool you. He's really strong. I mean, there's supposedly he has a record of benching over 400 pounds, from what he says. No, no, he's in the best shape of his life. He lost weight, he hit the gym, and he's amped up his aggression. That is going to be something that is going to be hard for any wrestler to overcome in the, in the ring. He's 
got more energy. He's got more drive. He's got so much stuff going for him. He's got, he's got a move. He's got a move. Oh! All I've seen was fuzzy boots and legs. So they look like Sonic the Hedgehog there for a second. There, that was me and Larry's thing. Yep. That Casey Kilgore. No, he was close enough to the reps where he could grab a hold of it. And Hanson's more worried about the outlaw right now. Just letting Casey get back up. There, he's just taking advantage of the situation. It was a bad situation for him to Casey Kilgore took it. And he, and he run with it. Oh! Going for the wind pop there. What is Casey going for? Oh! Oh, he missed it! Looked like he was going for a flipping leg drop. Looks he like just he missed. Hanson's getting ready to set him up. Oh, slingshot spear. That could be it. He needs to hook a leg. Oh, he kicked out. He did not hook that leg. He did not get that deep cover. He was not able to keep him down. I guess just the excitement of getting that move, he just figured get that quick pin. But if he would have done the leg cover, like you said, that could have been the end of the match there. Craig Hanson gives himself so excited when he does things that he forgets to follow up with it. And that's and see, once again, he's and like, a bad thing for him. And once again, he's more worried about the outlaw right now. He needs to be focused on Casey in the match. Oh! Almost like a slip in the top right there. Hugs his vicious feet his chest. Oh! Three hard shots. Oh, good kick to the face. Too good. That's just vicious. Cheater, cheater. I guess he sees some more ants on him. Is that what it is? No, he was telling him he needs to cut his hair. He's looking like a hippie. And then, and once you again, he's great. Furry boots and your, your weird tights, and your hairy face, and long hair. Oh, there's a two. Almost had a new champion right there. It looks like Casey's signaling for the end. He's going to go for that Dolphin headbutt. It's brought him success throughout the years. Let's see. Oh, oh no. Cross flash. Oh, barely wow. kicked out there. With every hard shot that he's got, every time that he's been on his back, Ray has been struggling more and more and more to get up off the mat. And it looks like Casey's just pulling stuff out of his moves. Like, I've never seen him do a frog splash ever before. There's a many things that you don't see a lot of wrestlers do until they feel it's necessary. And then they'll pull something out that you don't know. Oh, oh, headbutts. Oh, clothesline. Handsome there. Clothesline, man. But how much damage is That's a lazy cover there. See, Casey Kilgore was still able to get a strong kick out. He pushed him away from him. He rolled. He got the shoulder. Let's just check on the wrestlers. Make sure they're okay. Irish whip reversal. Oh, he's got him in a sleeper now. It looks like Hanson could be out. He dropped down to one knee. He's got it in deep enough. He can cut off the arteries on both sides of the neck, which allows the oxygen to break. Oh, no. Hanson's fighting back fighting now. Back. He's fighting back. Several shots in the midsection there. 
Simon, did he rally the troops and bring them all out here? Uh-oh, looks like he's in a bad spot right now. The outlaw is. I think he just realized that his boys got out of the ring and he didn't. Oh! Look at each, every one of them's getting a punch on him. Bouncing him around. Now Scott's winding up. Oh, the chop. Oh, oh, put him down. Every one of them should be ashamed of themselves for putting their hands on owner of MWF like that. <laughs> 